screechy. You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Claros Mortgage Team, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Home Serve Home Warranty, Republic Title, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. What's up, party people? What is up? Welcome to the show. We're talking real estate. We're talking DFW real estate. We got a lot to get to today. Lots going on in the market. Lots going on in the media. If you're a regular listener, you know we like to we like to d- discern the wisdom of the headlines. We'll get to all that. We're talking about the holidays. Uh, we've got some questions lined up today, but if you've got a question, you send that right to us. 214-310-0008. You can call. Feel free to call. Uh, you can certainly also text 214-310-0008. And you can do that all week long, and we'll either answer your question right when you send it or you know, pretty soon after, or uh, if it's not as urgent to you, you know, we'll answer it here on the air. So 214-310-0008. Or as always, online at ToddTremontiTeam.com. You can click on the radio tab. You can fill out a scorecard about buying or selling. You can search homes by any agent anywhere in the area. Find out what your home is worth in less than a minute. All sorts of valuable resources for you at ToddTremontiTeam.com. That's ToddTremontiTeam.com. Today, we're going to be getting into a variety of topics, much less, you know, wherever your questions take us. But we're going to spend some time talking today about the industry of real estate. Why would somebody get into or out of the business of home sales right now? And that will that will give you some information that I think you should want as a home buyer or home seller. You know, what what is the opportunity for someone to make a living in the industry and how does that what does that say? How does that speak to the opportunity or the burden for a buyer or seller and as always uh, we'll have plenty to say about what it looks like if you're not in the process of buying or selling, but you're simply looking to enjoy your home or you're getting prepared for something like that down the road. Um, one of the things that I absolutely love is homes on what I call homes on land, homes on a large lot, big lot, kind of that big residential neighborhood lot, which maybe is half acre or so, all the way up to five or 10 acres. Our team, one of the areas we specialize in is that one to five acre range. We've got some questions coming up on that, but if you're interested in that outdoor living, big backyard, room to play, room to work kind of deal, hang with us throughout the show. We'll have a lot to say about that. Um, we're, you know, we're also going to get into at least a little bit of what what it looks like to still get something done before the end of the year. Uh, this is the time of the year. Halloween is coming gone. I always kind of say Halloween is the kickoff of the air quotes the holidays, right? So we get a lot of questions. Well, I don't want to move during the holidays right now. Look, there's a lot of holidays that happen between Halloween and New Year's Day. Uh, You know, different people celebrating different ones, but there's a lot of things. Uh, What it boils down to is, you know, what's actually true, what's happening on the ground and, and what are your goals? So we can talk through some of that as we make our way through. We do have a full studio, maybe our last week with a studio quite this full. It's very sad. It, there's some sadness to it, and uh, let me get let me get to the sad trombone because it's worth it. It's not like it's not quite not, a sad no, trombone. Not, right. not no. scary. Mm-hmm. That's not it. Mm-mm. No. All right. So here's the deal. Sorry, Mason. And gentlemen. We got no. We got no sounds for you, Mason. Producer extraordinaire, the young MG, as you know him and have known him for years now, of all things, audio, digital, and video, is passing the baton. I think we'll get you on a show in the future, but as far as the official producer extraordinaire title, what do you? I mean, what's what's what? What do you have to say? Uh, this is my last show. Oh gosh! So thanks for having me. So sad. Uh, and <clears throat> I'm passing the torch Choked on to the wonderful Courtney. The torch, the baton, the glory. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've enjoyed my time on the show. It's been a blast, and uh, I've always loved talking real estate every week with you guys we're gonna bring you back at some point mason because mason will have reasons to be back in the office but really quickly 
uh, A, thank you for your glorious contributions to legitimizing our once not so legitimate radio show. It's been mostly really good. It's been for the most part. Uh, secondly, as a parting gift to the show, you've had, in my opinion, a fantastic nickname, the Young MG. Your entire tenure on the show, Courtney doesn't officially have a radio show producer nickname yet. So I don't know if, if there's an opportunity for an off-the-cuff nickname or maybe before we wrap this week up, maybe you come up with one. Coatney is the current contender, but I don't know if that's the one. That's not the one. If you've got something, Ian doesn't get an official vote. We'll let him vote even on air, but we won't actually calculate his vote. Um, but if you've got something that feels right, you let I think, me know. I didn't know this was coming, so this is on the spot. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with one by the end uh, – and have it ready for next week's show. So okay. this is our, my official radio tease. Tune in next week to Tune figure next out week. Courtney's new amazing nickname that for, I come up with. But you for, won't be here. No, no, no but, but Todd listen. will be able to reveal okay. it. Yeah, listen. Todd will be able to reveal it. And Over the years, he's proven an ability to produce the digital, the video, and the audio. We could get this information transferred to us, to our friends, neighbors, and audience. All right. So here's what we got. We got the young MG, producer extraordinaire of all things audio. Thanks digital, for having me. Vigil. No, not digio and vigil. Video and digital passing the torch to the one and only Courtney, Coatney, as of now. Um, and, like, do you realize, recognize the magnitude of the moment, do you think, Courtney? Um, Does I, it feel big? I mean, there are big shoes to fill. I feel very proud of what MG has done. The young MG has... has uh, has helped us get where we are. I don't know for sure where we are at this exact moment. It feels a little bit off course, but uh, I'm, pr I'm proud of what we've done here, and Mason's been a big part of that, so we appreciate you, buddy. All right, we also have not only the young MG and the Cote Nay, we do have the English wonder himself, the Yanni Donnie from across the pond, celebrating all things Middlesbrough and occasionally F1, Ian Daniels. Hello. That was the weirdest response to an intro. You In like six or seven years... So was, let's see how it made was, you go. That, that was the sound that a potential buyer makes when they walk into a house and they don't know if anybody's Hello. in there. Hello. Like, is anyone, am I allowed to be here? Is this trespassing? Just hate to make no, no. everybody laugh, guys. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. Little John loves it. All right, folks, welcome. This You are listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti and this ragtag gang of ninjas. And we are here to take your questions. 214-310-0008 or online at toddtremonteteam.com. Click any button, call any number, text any number, fill out any form. We'll be glad to have a true full-time professional get you what you need and move forward. I've got one bone to pick before we dig into questions, Ian. Which bone would you like to pick? The true professional bone. I just okay. said true professional. I'm proud of our team members. We've, we've recruited selectively. We've trained. We've expected a lot out of these people, and they're incredible. And I'm a little frustrated right now with the number of um, ads, advertisements on radio, on television, in the mailbox from people claiming to be something they're not. I'm not going to name any names uh, because there's no need to do that. I, 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 my hope is that our listeners and our friends are informed enough not to make the mistake of putting their home, their financial future, uh, their equity in the hands of someone that is not even in town, that's not local that has a business model that is basically kind of a technology disruptor business model that's more of a venture capital, try to get a piece of this big old residential real estate pie kind of approach, but was never and has no signs of ever being intended to add real value to individual people and families in the DFW market. So that drives me nuts. I'll leave it there. Um, but you got people from Atlanta, you got people from Austin, you got people from Houston who have just decided it would be nice to add Dallas to their portfolio. And I'm not saying that every time that's that companies can't grow and scale. What I'm saying is residential real estate is hyper local. And until one of those companies proves to me that they have a hyper local plan and that they care about our hyper local market and people, I'm going to continue to raise the flag and warn people not to make those mistakes. So as a consumer, you don't always know who those people are or where they're from. And I'm not trying to badmouth them individually here. So I'm just going to say, do a little bit of homework. And if you're considering uh, some of these bigger, larger, 
you know, grandiose media offering type companies, you know, reach out to us. We'll let you know what's true and what's real. And on the rare occasion that one of those is a better option for you, we'll just tell you that, hey, that's you're one of those people where this is a great option for you. You should go with that. Uh, but whether they're offering to buy your house, sell your house, or whether their ads sound exactly like our ads, then uh, I would just encourage you to reach out to us. Or if not us, if you have a full-time, fully dedicated, local team of experts that have proven track record with you, then call them and ask them, who are these people? Where are they from? What's the comparison? What are my options? What's best for me? And I think you'll you'll have a much better outcome. But I'm getting I'm getting a little fed up with out of town, so-called tech disruptor, you know, we want to buy your house and we're not going to tell you that we obviously want to buy it at a discount type stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want an offer for your house, the Todd Germani home selling team will give you an offer for your house, but that's, we're always going to tell you that that's not the way you're going to get the most money, the fastest. That's not your best bet. It is, you know, for maybe less than 1% of the total home selling population, but very, very few people. This first segment was brought to you by Patrick Gleros and Pardon and Cardinal Financial. Head over to patrickgleros.com. That's G-L-A-R-O-S.com, patrickgleros.com. You can start your application right there. You can learn more about him and his team from Melanie and Rick, uh, the entire team over there. Patrick has built and put together a, uh, a world-class bunch of professionals that are going to take phenomenal care of you in the same way that we are going to do the same thing over here in the Totra Money Home Selling Team. Go to patrickgleros.com. And this next segment is brought to you by DP Lambert and Goosehead Insurance. Uh, like I told you before, I reached out to DP, uh, talked to one of his team members recently, and saved just under $2,000 when they bundled my home and auto insurance this year, which they did not do previously because that wasn't the best thing for me. And they're going to do the same thing for you. They're going to figure out, is it better to bundle? Is it better to do it separate? So that you can save as much money as possible. DP.Lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at Goosehead.com. A uh, question for you. You taught us a little earlier about homes on land, mm -hmm. and then we're going to kind of define that a little differently to how I think I have definitely thought of when I think of homes on land, I oftentimes think of 20, 30, 40, 60 acres, like big, big, big areas of land. We can absolutely help with that. Yep. But also what we're talking about is kind of that, 0.75, one acre, even a half acre, yep. all the way up to like five acres. That's like a, a different a different way of defining that. What are the key differences between marketing a home on some sort of acreage like that, even a half or a three quarter acre compared to just a you know, quote, standard residential home? Yeah, I'll talk a little bit about marketing it. And then I, I think maybe even the more fun topic is living on those types of properties, right? So, but from a marketing perspective, you know, let's just take somewhere in the middle, two, two or three acres, right? Something like that is typically going to be a different way of measuring. Like you're literally talking about, you know, some properties you get a survey on, others you need to get a plat on. I mean, there's some differences in just the structural transfer of property stuff. Oftentimes you're looking at a barbed wire fence or a wire fence as opposed to a you know, six or eight or 10 foot board on board cedar, you know, there's just different elements. Some of them have wells. Many of them operate on a septic tank. Um, they might have a pond. They might have a propane tank instead of natural gas. They might have some solar. They might have a pond. They might have a gravel driveway as opposed to paved driveway. They might have to get their mail down the street or haul their trash to a, a more centralized location. Those are some of like the simple things that that people don't always think about. And that's where I want to kind of move into the lifestyle part of this a little bit. There's been a huge surge and these things are somewhat cyclical and they ha tend to have to do with kind of work culture and the economy. I mean, you can go back to the early days of literally the United States and see these cycles of kind of back to the land movements. But just in the last hundred years, I mean, you saw a huge back to the land movement in the 60s. And then you saw a resurgence in this homesteading lifestyle in the 80s when there was financial crisis. And then you saw a really big one when the uh, popularization and more access to homeschooling and things like that started to become available. Literally like curriculum became more and more available uh, and it became more common and there was access to activities and sports more, more so than in the past. Then you would see these cycles of people moving to a more home centric life. 
as instead of my home needs to be near all these other things, people felt like I want my home to have all of those things. So I don't want to leave home all the time and have my home near those things. I want to have those things at my home. So I want a pool. I want room to play for a garden, for an orchard, for a playground, for a pond, for a workshop, for a side business, uh, for a larger family, for multi-generational living, for all of these different things. You don't have to be into all of those things, but chances are, if you want a home on larger acreage, you're probably into at least one of those things. Um, and we talked a lot about this during COVID. COVID, we were already in a cycle like that. COVID just poured jet fuel on it where people said, I've been living over here because I have to go to the office. I don't have to go to the office anymore. So I want to live out there where my budget can get me more house. And instead of having a storage unit and a pool membership and a gym membership and all these other things, I want to pool up my house and room to store my stuff and room to work out at home and an office, a room, extra room for an, like all those things. So that's kind of the difference in uh, what they have and what the lifestyle is. Back to your point on marketing, on the one hand, lots of agents sell these homes. Most of them are generalists. And that doesn't make them bad people. They'll, they'll just kind of sell anything. Um, and so they're hoping they find the right buyer in the broad pool of general buyer marketing. Like put it on the MLS. It's on realtor.com. It's on Zillow. You know, I've got flyers. I've got a sign in the yard, that kind of stuff. A more strategic approach would be to do all of that and also have a targeted list of buyers who are already interested in that type of home. Maybe it's a bunch of people that want a, a property with a pond on it because they enjoy fishing or aquaponics of some kind. Maybe it's people who want a workshop. They're, they're, they, they're woodworkers or they're mechanics. They work on vehicles or they have a crafting business or a crafting hobby or whatever. But it's targeting that type of buyer that has a very specific need. Um, so could that happen on a half acre home in a neighborhood? Yes, but that's probably like one of two lots in that neighborhood. Now there are whole neighborhoods of half acre properties, but I'm talking a traditional neighborhood. They've got that pie wedge piece in the back of the cul-de-sac that backs up to the green belt or whatever. That's just, it was like the leftover land that the developer couldn't make equal. We're, we're specializing in more of the, it's, it's a property in an area uh, where that's a more valuable home. That's not an unusually rare home. Now we do sell those in neighborhoods. What we're specializing in among other things is what I would call a bigger lot. You're helping me define as one to five acres. What it's definitely not is a working farmer ranch. Now we can do that, but I'll be honest, that's not our specialization right. uh, that we're not world-class at that where we are as good or better than anybody in this market. I would certainly think better, but is if you have a home on a lot that you would say this isn't a farm or a ranch, but this is a big lot, which I would say one to five is a, is a simple way to do it, but maybe 0. 0.5 to tens, you know, anywhere in there, but let's call it one to five. That's what we do all day, every day. And we do it in the areas where there are lots of those, you know, Saxy, Wiley, Murphy, Parker, that kind of area we do a ton. And then certainly beyond that, we do a lot up in the edges of McKinney, Frisco, Prosper, moving up in, into Sherman and North, Anna and North Texas. Um, and then we do a lot in Benbrook, Weatherford, Cedar Hill, DeSoto areas. So it's usually on the edges, but we also love to do that when it's kind of the last man standing. You know, the two acre property in Richardson, Garland, Plano, West Fort Worth, Arlington, those areas where the neighborhood's grown up around them, but they're still you know, 20, 30, 40 of those left in the area. And now they're highly desirable. We love to help people buy those. We love to help people turn those into like once in a lifetime, one, you know, only one in the area type properties. Home Surf Home Warranty have continued to take uh, phenomenal care of so many of our clients uh, over the years and continue to do so. Um, you can go to homeserve.com for more information on their home warranties, uh, especially during that first year of being in a new home. It just gives you some peace of... Uh, some ability to sleep at night. Let's talk it like, like that way. Uh, you can reach out to them, homeserve.com, find out all the different things that they offer. Uh, Christine over there continues checking with us and just takes great care of uh, so many of our clients. So homeserve.com. Quick uh, follow-up for you on the uh, acreage because uh, there's probably some people out there that are thinking, okay, like, could I buy five or six acre lot with a home on it that I want to live in? Can I sell off 
other parts of that to be able to maybe have other properties built. Yeah, I actually got a question, this exact question eh, two weeks ago, maybe from a friend who's moving to another market. And honestly, they're moving to a very expensive market and trying to figure out how to afford it. And they were like, I found a property that's at the very top of my price range, but I, I need more money to invest to, to improve the home. So could I buy it and sell off part of it? The answer is maybe. I know that's an annoying answer, but it depends on the city, the county, the deed restrictions, the rules for zoning, the minimum or maximum lot size. But if the city and state allows it, you know, it's not the state, the city and the county, the anyone who's got restrictions on your property, if it's allowed, then it's a good idea. And I know people that have gotten into impossible to get into neighborhoods by finding the rare home, the rare owner in the neighborhood that had a really big lot and saying, could I buy a quarter acre of the side of your lot and, and build a home on it? Uh, I know of two places in Saxe where that's happened in the last few weeks where somebody had uh, like an acre and a half and someone bought the half acre on the side. They still had their acre property, but they sold the half acre for more than they bought the entire property and house for, you know, not that long ago. So yes, that is definitely a possibility. That's a really creative way to get into a property that maybe otherwise wouldn't be financially comfortable, but would be possible. Um, but not every area allows it. So just because it's a large acreage property doesn't mean you can break it down. But if that fits city zoning and deed restrictions, then that can be a really creative way to get more value out of a property like that. When we when we talk about having a consultation and sitting down with somebody and thinking through different ideas and options and what's going to be the most creative thing for that person, that's what we're talking about, right? Yep. We're talking about not just saying, hey, we're going to go online, we're going to find some homes, we're going to send them to you via email, and then we'll go look at some. No, that's not always going to be the situation. Like this is where being with somebody that is world-class at what they do, finding a team that you trust, that knows and has been doing this for years and years and years comes in so valuable because they are going to be able to sit down with you like we will sit down with you and have what we call a consultation. We're not going to sit and just tell you a bunch of stuff. We're going to talk to you and understand what your needs, wants, and desires are so that we can go and fulfill that. Yeah, and it also speaks to having access to properties that people can't see publicly. Like you said, yeah. it's like, like no, here's everything online, pick some, let's go. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's nice to have something in addition to that. And so a free strategy session, literally free and literally strategic, meaning tell me about you, tell me about your family, tell me about your finances, what are your needs, what are your goals, what's your timeline look like? Every single person, every situ every property is unique and being able to create a customized strategy, whether you're buying, selling, both, buying to build, buying to remodel, buying to tear down, whatever that looks like, to your point, that's where we can help you find opportunities that you can't find on your own. And honestly, you can't find from other agents because they don't have access to our private portfolio. And sometimes the private portfolio is something like that. Hey, I've got four acres. I would be willing to sell one or two of them if the right person came along. I'm not willing to publicly market that. Well, now we're, look, we're helping them look for the right person. Maybe we have a free strategy session with you on Zoom and you say something and we go, ding. I think I can introduce you to someone that would be a perfect fit. So that's how that stuff works. If you're interested in a free strategy session, if you're trying to get into or out of a home by the end of the year, or that's something you will have as a goal for 2023, go to toddtremonteteam.com. And if you have roofing needs, and after the wind and rain we've had recently, you might have needs you don't know about. If you haven't had a roofer on the roof in the last couple of years, I want you to reach out to PMR Roofing at PMRRoofing.com. Jordan Collins is our buddy over there. Quentin's the owner. They're amazing guys. They'll do what's right for you. They won't sell you anything that you don't need. But if you do need something, they'll do it right at a fair price the first time. Go to PMRRoofing.com and tell them Todd Tremonti sent you. Remember, folks, we only introduce you to recommended professionals because they've done a great job for us and our clients. So check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, HomeServe Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. We'll be right back with more Texas real estate on WBAP. Welcome back to Texas Real Estate with Todd Germani, brought to you by the Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, PMR Roofing, 
DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, Republic Title, Home Serve, Home Warranty, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, Todd Tremani. Welcome back, party people. Welcome back to the show. Lots to cover. When we went to the break, we were still talking about homes on one to five acres. My last thoughts there are they're awesome. If you want one, let us know. If you've got one you want to sell, let us know. Uh, We do have that buyer list I was talking about. People that are already interested, that have been looking for a while. And we have a seller list too of people that would sell but aren't quite ready or haven't fully decided or are only looking for the perfect ideal buyer. And we have that in many other areas. So homes on one to five acres-ish is one of our key areas of specialization. A couple of the other ones are um, you know, mid to upper end homes in neighborhoods around DFW. That, that sounds like a really broad one, but uh, it's not all homes everywhere. And it's certainly only homes. We do residential only. Um, and then there's a couple others that, that we have agents on our team that they're really, really, really good uh, on golf course and waterfront and things like that, especially homes with pools. But um, homes on land is a passion of mine, of our team. We've done it for years and years and years, and it's different. So what you don't want is a generalist selling a specialized property. Uh, you're going to lose dollars. You're going to lose time, and you're going to have stress and drama that you don't want. So if you're thinking about a home on a, on a big lot on, on more land, then uh, go to ToddTremontiTeam.com or call us and text us right now. 214-310-0008. And even if you think that's something I'd like to achieve years from now, text us. Let us know. Let's start that conversation of getting you equipped to really achieve that goal. 214-310-0008. Book segment, as always, brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his team over at patrickgleros.com and Cardinal Financial. You can go to patrickgleros.com. You can find out more information. You can learn about the entire team over there, Rick, Melanie, you can see how uh, read testimonials on all the ways that they've helped so many people. I've worked with Patrick several times. Todd has many times over the years, and they continue to deliver world-class service to every single one of their clients. Go to patrickgleros.com. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, other agents listen to this show because mm-hmm. I actually got to talk to some. Uh, at the conference that we were hosting, we had some local folks and they told me that they actually listened to the show and they found it really, really uh, informative and interesting and that we do a good job. It was nice to hear that. Um, What we we are hiring, so I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, What does recruiting look like? Like, who are we looking for right now? Um, how, how do we navigate through all that? Where do people go to? Yeah. Because there's some specific roles that we're looking for. Yeah, I'll give a few thoughts on that, but before I get into us and Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, let's just talk about the industry as a whole. Why would somebody even want to get into residential real estate right now? Good question. Well, and it's, I, honestly, I thought about it while you were doing the Glaros read. Like, you know, I don't, I, I would assume right now people are thinking, I don't want to call a mortgage lender. I don't want a mortgage. They're, they're crazy. But if you have a great mortgage lender, you can find some absolutely fantastic opportunities right now. Yeah. If you read the headlines, and it sounds like I just hate every headline. I don't, but I do think... Uh, what I always want to do is give you more than five words on a topic so that you can understand really what's going on. And there's a lot of opportunity in this market. And I think there's a lot of opportunity to get into the real estate business. It's funny that you say that though, because the, uh, the, the, the media would portray it as something very different, right. which is funny to what it was two years ago when everyone was like, get into real estate. It's awesome. Right. And you make a ton of money. And now everyone's like, oh, this is really, really hard. And you're like, wait, what? Well, what you make happened? a good point because a couple of years ago when everybody said, you know, now's a great time to get in. A lot of people got in and very few of them made a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of them did make some easy money, but very few of them made like, I have a career now money. Um, you know, they had friends and family that were like, I'll buy anything, just throw an offer at it, see if we can get it. Uh, and now many of them, many of those sellers uh, have a need for expertise and those brand new opportunistic agents aren't delivering, can't deliver. It doesn't even mean they don't want to, but they were not diligent in a market that was extremely challenging to become an expert. So that's where we are now. There's a much greater demand for expertise. And that's why I believe there's a great opportunity to get into the business right now. This is a terrible time to get into the business if you're looking for easy money. But guess what? All times are a terrible time to get into the business if you're looking for easy money. And the reason for that is, you're not going to deliver what I call world-class value. You're not going to deliver great value to your client if your primary motivation 
is easy money. Now, there's nothing wrong with one of your primary motivations being earning money. That's part of, you know, the world and economy and life we live is we share our gifts with the world. And when they're valuable, values return to us. And we can use that to serve and invest and provide and all the things that you can do with, with money. But the, my point here is the reason I like right now as a time to get into residential real estate is because it's hard. Why is that a good time, you say? Well, because if you- Why is that a good time? Thank you. It's a great question. Um, if you can become great at what you do when it's hard, if you can learn to add value when value is essential, then nothing can take you out, which is why our team at the Tatramani Home Selling Team is extraordinarily confident in this market. A, we've been through market shifts before. We grew and thrived during the, you know, seven, eight, nine economic crisis, whatever you want to call that. Uh, we've been through interest rate movements. We've been through foreclosure cycles. We've been through political unrest. We've been through uh, local natural disasters. We've been through uh, certainly not everything. I can't imagine if I say the word everything, I can't imagine what will follow that. We've been through the pandemic. We, we've been through the craziness. And because our focus has not been on easy money, but it has been on world-class value and only working with world-class people, the harder it gets, the more opportunity we find. And the reason is because of how I introduced this. When it's easy, and look, it's never easy, but when it looks easy, the consumer tends to go with a, a lesser professional. And I'm not naming any one person, so don't send me emails. And if you do, you know, we'll see how that goes. Um, Mason at Tultramine. Yeah, <laughs> send them to at the outgoing Mason. But the point I'm making is this. Um, when, it, when the market looks easy, when it looks easy to sell or easy to buy, people tend to go with their friend, their neighbor, their nephew. They, they'll say things like, oh, I'm going to do this guy a favor by using him to buy a house. That's not the same language of this is the best person I could find to help me sell my house. That's like, this is an easy commission. I don't think there's any risk. I want this person to earn the commission. So I'm doing them a favor by letting them sell my home. That's really dangerous backwards thinking. But in a market like this, people are like, whoa, homes are sitting on the market a little bit longer. I'm hearing and seeing that prices are coming down in some areas. I am not using my knucklehead nephew. I'm looking for a pro. And if you want to get into the business because you want to be a pro, people are looking for pros. And the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team would love to have a conversation with you. You can call or text that same exact phone number, 214 310 Zero 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 eight. You just type anything you want. You know, interested in joining the team? Have questions about joining the team? I'll say really quickly. We do not require any experience whatsoever. As a matter of fact, we prefer um, less than one year of licensed real estate sales experience. That doesn't mean that you're totally ineligible outside of that realm, but uh, we're looking for no license yet or ideally you're in the process of getting a license or you just got your license, but you have not yet found your footing uh, with the, the right investment that a broker or a team leader is, is willing to make in you uh, and a clear plan for you to be successful. Two points. One, it's my little soapbox. I'm so fed up of TV shows that paint this industry as one where it's just like, ah, eh, you know what? This didn't work out in my previous thing. I think I'll just go do this thing. Seems easy enough, right? Back up. Okay. Number two, please don't get into this industry if you think it's just going to be easy. You sit on a throne of lies. I do not. It is not easy. It is people. It drives me insane that people come into this industry with the idea of it's just going to be simple. I'll get as much time off as I want. You're starting a business. Well, you've heard me say this for years. People don't think of it as starting a business. Low barrier to entry extraordinarily high barrier to success. Yeah. If success is defined as a full-time living while delivering value for that living, right? When I got my license as I was leaving uh, a place that you have to go to once you get your license, I was uh, uttered the words, good luck. And all I heard was like the Taken movie or somebody <laughs> snickering under their breath of there goes another one with his license, good luck. Yeah. And I'm just like, 
Well, like, horrible. Like that was the gut feeling. The statistical success rate is garbage, right? The, statistically speaking, and I honestly don't. I don't know how reliable they are, but I know that they're in the right ballpark because I've witnessed it over twenty plus years of being in the business. Ninety five plus percent of people that get a real estate license will not renew that license two years later. They literally just don't make it two years. The, the reality is- And the reason we're saying two years is because that's when you have to that, renew that, your license. That's the point. That's what I was going to say. You have to renew in two years. So many of them are quitting before that and they're just, they, they're totally out of gas and they just don't even try to renew. Um, many others and the statistics are scary. It's like 70% of the remaining 5% don't make it five years. So, you know, I'm not a, I don't care that much about math. The point is very, very, very few people get into the business and are still in the business five years later, full-time, making a full-time living. Because in those numbers is not even factored in the people that they're in the whole time. It was a, it was a backup. They're like I got my license, you know, I'll do it. I buy a house every couple of years. I flip one, I buy rentals, uh, you know, in the summertime, I try to sell one or two for friends, that kind of thing. The point I'm making is I think now's a great time to get into the residential real estate business. Now, I mean that as a salesperson, if you want to get your license, and I do mean that as a buyer, seller, and investor. Now, the one criticism th that, that we get here of me that is partially true, I mean, I'm sure there's others, but the one that the really common one that is partially true, but it's misinformed, is you always say it's a good time to buy and sell and invest. And the reason I'm sensitive to that is because it's true, but not for the same reason that others say it. And I agree when others say it, it's jacked up. It's jacked up when an agent says, it's always a good time to buy, sell, and invest because they're saying it because it's always a good time for them to get a commission. They always want you to buy, sell, and invest because they always want to make money. The reason I'm saying it is because there is a strategy to win in every market. But the reality is, most agents are barely surviving. Therefore, most agents don't have a strategy to win in every market. The traditional agent, and again, I'm not picking on any one agent. So if you're an agent and this is ticking you off, maybe I'm not talking to you. But if some of this feels like you, like you don't have a strategy, you're not fully dedicated, you're not constantly learning and growing, and you don't have any tools, resources, or people around you, then maybe I am talking about you. But I'm not naming any names. My point is this. The average agent has no strategy. Many who have a strategy have one strategy, and it tends to be a springtime, summertime strategy that is for a market that's a little bit seller leaning, meaning they have a strategy that is, if I like put a sign up, put it on the MLS, and I'm like remotely responsive on phone and email, then, I, then the, everything's going to sell, and buyers are going to kind of get a decent deal, and sellers are going to get a pretty good deal, and I'm going to look good to my clients. Most of them only have that strategy. What I'm saying is it's a good time to buy in winter. It's a good time to sell in winter. It's a good time to buy in a seller's market. It's a good time to sell in a buyer's market. If you have spent the time to do the consultation that Ian was talking about, to create a customized strategy for you, your family, your finances, the market you're in, the kind of home you want, whether you want an acreage home or you want a pool home or you want a tiny home or whatever it is, this is how wealthy people get and stay wealthy. This is how happy people get and stay help happy. They don't tr assume things. They don't try one size fits all in every area of their life. They do their homework. They hire professionals. They create a custom strategy to, to win and they don't move forward unless they can win, right? So we always say slow down before you speed up. So if any of this rings true to you about buying, selling, investing, or getting into the business and maybe joining our team, for all of those reasons, we offer you a similar option. It's a free strategy session. It might be a free strategy session to buy, to sell, to plan for buying and selling two years from now, or to talk about getting into this business. For all of those things, you can call or text 214-310-0008. If you hear my volume getting louder, it's because I get fired up about this because people do stupid things. And it's not always their fault because our industry has encouraged people to do stupid things in support, and this is going to sound really harsh, in support of lazy people. The National Association of Realtors is the licensing association. That's where the word realtor comes from. That's a trademark term. It doesn't mean licensed salesperson. It means member of the National Association of Realtors. And I'm not their biggest fan. Now, I'm not like attacking them. I'm just saying their job is to protect the membership, which is like a million plus people. It's not even their job 
to make sure that local clients get world-class representation from local agents. This is why there's so many unhappy people. That's why people assume that that organization is going to make them better. That's not even their goal. That's not even their mission. And when you hire someone, you need to know who you're hiring. And they, we talked earlier about local. We talked just now about full-time. We've talked about the misleading messages in the market, uh, in the media, not because they're deliberately misleading, but because they have a different motivation than to advocate for you. So if you want to be world-class, if you want to lead, guide, advocate, and achieve phenomenal outcomes for your clients, reach out to us. We're looking for two to four people. We have a couple of openings in our Fort Worth office, and we probably have one, maybe two openings in our Dallas office, which, which is technically in Richardson. So we're West Fort Worth, we're North Dallas, um, and we cover the Metroplex, but we've, we're about a dozen people. Uh, we're very, very selective. We interview a lot. We hire very little, uh, for the industry. We have very low turnover. Um, and we invest in our people tremendously. It doesn't cost you anything to work here financially, but it will cost you a lot to work here as far as time and focus and commitment and work ethic. But the rewards are phenomenal. We don't blabber all over the internet and radio about our about the rewards because we really don't want to entice people with the benefits. We don't want them to convince us to work here. We're looking for a great fit and we're looking for really hardworking, competitive, kind, servant-hearted people uh, who love to win and are fun to be around. So if that's you, 214-310-0008. We're looking to hire two to four. Bad title company can not only be really, really destructive during the course of the transaction, but it can cause issues long beyond the transactions over. Republic Title, one of the leaders in the industry, one of the leaders in the title industry. You can go to republictitle.com. You can check them out before you buy or sell, invest anything in real estate at republictitle.com. We had a couple of instances recently where uh, we had a, a bad title company and it caused issues and it took time to fix. And we got last it- Last minute. Last minute, like at closing tables, but we got it fixed. Uh, Republic Title, not the case. Go to republictitle.com. Uh, give me a rundown, if you would, of um, what are some of the, you know, the unique buyer opportunities that are out there right now, just kind of following oh, up man. on what we were talking about. So here's the cool thing. Uh, let's just be honest. Interest rates right now are not fun. They're higher than they've been in a long time. That's not great. Payments are higher, all that jazz. Okay, let's just set that aside for a second. We can come back to it, but let's just, just let's just acknowledge that. That's a factor. Let's put it on the shelf for a second. Yeah, three times what they were essentially compared to the beginning of the year. Yeah, nearing that. For, for a good, well-qualified borrower, we're not quite there, but we're in that ballpark. Yeah. So that's fair enough to say. For now, though, let me say this. Other than that almost everything is in your favor as a buyer right now. Other than that, it is awesome out there right now for a buyer. And what I mean real fast, more homes to choose from, fewer other buyers to compete with, sellers who are starting to freak out. They're not getting very many showings. They're not getting very many offers. Their homes are sitting on the market longer. And that doesn't mean that our market is in a spiral, but it's definitely in an adjustment. Things are stretching out. Things are softening. Things are slowing. Um, prices are getting less stable. Now, I also think it's a good time to sell. So don't freak out if you're a seller, but also don't go talk to a knucklehead agent that's going, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. That's a really bad idea, and you're just going to pay through the nose for that. So back to my point. Nearly every factor other than interest rate is like fantastically attractive to a buyer right now. So if you are a cash buyer, call me right now, 214-310-0008. And we will, one of our world-class team members will take you out in the market and bring you back with a massive win. That's happening regularly with our buyers right now. If you're interested in new construction, I don't have time to go into all the details, but home builders are freaking out. Home dealers are offering amazing incentives and our buyers are taking advantage of them right now more than ever in the history of DFW. They're, the buyers are getting lower interest rates, lower purchase prices, more upgrades, shorter buy, buying cycles. There's so much opportunity for a home buyer right now. It's unbelievable. It literally is hard to believe we've got here, gotten here this fast. Oh, it's the complete opposite of what it was. But here's the thing I want to add. That doesn't mean values are tanking. Yes, they've softened generally across the market. There's a few pockets where prices are down 
enough to really notice. And there's a lot of areas where prices are down, but you can barely, barely notice. The point I'm making is if you're a buyer, every expectation is that those values are going to be up in the midterm and certainly in the long term. But if they're not, that's part of your advantage. It's literally like homes are on sale all of a sudden. And I don't mean dramatic discounts. I mean, they didn't go up like crazy and there's nobody else to compete with. It's not that there's nobody. There's a lot fewer people. So you can sleep on a decision. You can get you can get creative with a lender, by the way, and get your rate down. There's so much to it. If you've been afraid to buy, and that means you've been afraid to sell and buy, call me. Call us. We'll talk you through it. We don't have time on a radio show to do all the details, but I'm telling you, 214-310-0008. We might blow your mind at the opportunity. 214-310-0008. My last thing I'll add is, I was going to say, even though values maybe have softened a little bit, they were up so massively, yeah. year it's not over that year, big a deal. Year over year, most, like the lowest places in DFW are still up 18%. They were up 22%. They might have slipped 3 or 4%. They're still up 18% for last year. So if you're at a casino, you're still playing with house money. If you're in the stock market, you're still way, way up and you're you're still really excited. Real estate's more emotional. People freak out. I'm telling you, it's a great time to buy, but it is also still a good time to sell. The reason that is true is because if you have the right strategies, you can win on both. And if you are selling your house, you want your yard and your landscaping to look amazing. Not you wrong. To That's call not wrong. Keen landscaping. They do it all. Design, construction, maintenance, tree work, give them a call at 972-424-4851. Yeah, That's you got to call Keen. Look, you have to enjoy the spring and even the winter and, of course, the fall outside in Texas because the summer is a little bit challenging. Now, Keen even does pools. So go to keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. We tell you all the time about PMR roofing, and you maybe maybe don't care. Maybe you're like, I, well, I don't I don't need a roofer. Here's the thing. The best time to talk to a roofer is when you think you don't need one before you find out you really, really, really need one, right? When water's pouring in and the sheetrock is gone and the wood floors are gone and the electric stuff is fried, that's too late. When, uh, when the hailstorm has come, we can't predict that stuff. But then that's when you know you need a roofer. But when you don't know and you can get it checked out, at literally nothing out of your pocket and find, oh, I've got a couple uh, busted seals around the little whirly bird things or the gaskets around the vents. That's when it's like, hey, you, you guys are good. We got $37 worth of silicone up here and you're not going to have $12,000 of wood floor replacements, right? So now's the time to have them check it out. Now's the time to know I've got a connection to a reliable, trustworthy, honest, hardworking, quality roofer. That way, when the emergencies happen, the, the tornadoes or the hail or the crazy high wind, then you've got an established relationship and you're not worrying that the people with the magnet on the truck that came from Arkansas are scammers. So don't call a scammer. Call PMR Roofing, 214-957-0839, or just do what I do and go to their website, pmrroofing.com. If you're thinking about buying, selling, or moving, don't wait till spring. If you need to wait till spring, that's fine, but you don't have to. Check us out. Find the strategies that can help you win big before the end of the year. 214-310-0008 or online like my son says. Touchreminingteam.com. Remember, folks, we only recommend professionals that we have had a great experience with or our clients. So go check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, HomeServe Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. Find them all online at overunderagent.com. We'll be back next week, 3 p.m., right here on WBAP.